Hey Professor Black, so for this week I'll be doing my ethics video on chapter 24 and basically um, Miranda Walting, she works for the Lafayette Journal and Courier and she got a Google alert one morning at her job relating to um, her beat. This was in February of 2008 and someone online questioned the proposal of the merging of merging the West Lafayette um, city schools with the city itself. Um, the superintendent of the school went ahead and brought up the idea as a cost a cost saving tactic at the recent um at their recent public meeting, and no one during that time had said anything about the meeting. I mean, about the proposal that the superintendent brought up. So, um, the proposal was brought up a couple of times in different meetings and after a few meetings a, a few days later peter bunder who's a council um a council a city council member he basically the language he used on his blog post questioned the proposal and the reasoning the real reasoning behind why they were merging the schools he said the cleverness of all this is off-putting it's it feels way too clever um walting she knew of bunder but she never interviewed him because as a city councilor, he was not a usual source that she would go to for her education on beat. The whole thing was that Bunder, him posting on his blog post, it made his idea and expression public for anyone to use. And Walting wanted to go ahead and use what he said on her news media, on her news coverage. And her company was like, well, I don't know if we should do that because... You know, we have to make sure that um, we 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 take this information with diligence. We have to make sure that he's the one that posted it, that he was the one that, you know, he's the one that created the blog post because on the Internet, anyone can create anything and say anything under anyone's name. So once, you know, they found out it was really him and he said this because Walton found a couple of years ago before he started his ring that he commented on the district before she's like yeah we this is him let's use it so she did and she felt like since she used what he said it helps bring more awareness to the um to the public about the decisions being made in the district and i think her whole process of going through making sure that oh is the information i'm getting is it gonna be um transparent is it considering is an authentic report is it um con are we considering the consequences that might happen if we use this source i think she went ahead went ahead and went about it the right way and because she already had like background knowledge of using her using um blogs as a source of uh, as a source of um news um i think that she was very knowledgeable and she had experience and i i knew she wasn't going to do anything crazy um, I found this very ethical and it made me help it will it, it helped me understand and like relate to one of the other chapters that we read when taking new source media from the um taking new source from the media and making sure that it's ethical and it's you know valid to you so you're not spreading fake news. Um so yeah, I like this chapter and I feel like it's gonna help me in the long run in my career.